and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to go up and down mime stairs. So we're going to start firstly by going up your mime stairs. Now there's two parts to the solution. The first part is a simple step where you're just stepping up onto the step each time, taking a step. Try and go as high as possible. If you feel your weight's going or your balance is going, try and pull up. Once you're happy with this, you can then add the handrail or the banisters. Now you can make it flow, or you can do one step, and the hand moves part of the way down the banister, stops, so you take another step, then it travels again. Release the hand, make sure you don't go through the banisters and spoil your illusion. So, as with the real world, we don't always go upstairs, sometimes we have to come down the stairs as well. So, with the first illusion, where we were going onto the ball of our foot each time, to get an upward movement, get a downward movement, we go onto a flat foot, flat foot. Flat foot, flat foot. Make sure it doesn't become a profile walk. Just going flat onto the foot. Now to add to this illusion, we're gonna add our hands on the railing or the banisters. Now I'm just gonna do one movement of the hand up the banisters for each step because I find it easier than doing two and getting caught up and then having to bring my hand round. I just think it looks neater. And that's basically how to go up and down mime stairs. Oh, sorry, um, very quickly. Um, maybe of this, but very quickly, make sure that if you're using the same mime staircase, that you go up the same amount of stairs as you come down or vice versa, because otherwise it might confuse your audience. If you go up, say, 10 stairs, and come down 22. Just thought I'd point that out, okay? So the other version of this is the run up the stairs. I've seen this done by a few of my artists. Sometimes they use it to play with the audience where they've already created the illusion and they go, well, I'm not gonna do it again, so I'll, I'll pretend to run up or maybe I'm being chased. So it's quite simple. You're making sure your hand is going down in the same direction as the banisters, the railing. And you just either run up or run down. And again, make sure you run up the same amount as you run down or vice versa. So that's two variations of going up and down the mime stairs. Uh, please play around with it. Check out the other videos on this YouTube channel and thanks for watching.